Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to revisit a Slingshot crossbow as a survival weapon. So here is one of my best models. It's pretty accurate. And reasonably powerful. But of course, you can clearly see the disadvantage. It's very long and it's very heavy. It must be long because you need a long draw for rubber to be effective. So a slingshot crossbow is very narrow, it's not very wide, like a normal crossbow, but it's very long. So we've invented a new design. This one. As you see it's very compact, it's not even half as long as the other one. It's feather light, just over one pound. It's entirely made from plywood, but it can be folded, unfolded like this. And then you have the same kind of draw length as on the original big slingshot crossbow. The lock is rubber powered, of course, so it automatically engages. And now, after it's engaged, you really don't need the rubber anymore, because the force is in line with the joint. So it's very strong. And to release it, you simply fold it back and you're all set. So it's very easy. You just pull it out, cock it, then you can load it or you can also preload the shot if you're brave enough and then you can fire away. So if you have the bullet seated in the pouch, it's a very thing, it's very easy thing to just shoot. Quite powerful, even in this cold weather. So now this shoots 20 mm steel balls. So again, the entire housing swings up and down to follow the motion of the band, but it also, in this condition, locks the trigger. So in this position, if it's directed upwards, it cannot release the shot. This is only possible in the downmost position. So it's powerful and compact, but is it accurate? Let's try to hit this bottle. So I really like this concept. Of course it can be downscaled and upscaled in both directions. So you can make a pretty nice pistol size um, and still strong enough crossbow from it. But this one would be ideal for like hunting in a survival situation. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a hunter, simply because I don't have to. But in a survival situation, you have no choice. Okay, I have one last Hansel and Gretel blood red and black backpack. And I'm, as always, putting in a slingshot and bands and ammo. All you have to do is leave a comment to this video. You have one week. Good luck. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and bye-bye.